Hi, this is Eric again with Stormtrooper Ranch. Um, building the DA Props uh, Khaki HDPE Stormtrooper Helmet. Um, I already did one. I showed you the helmet when I pulled it out of the box. The second one I did the rough trimming. As you can see, I did the other eye. Cleaned up the teeth a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to put the helmet together, minus the ears for this video. Um, one thing I do want to say is, you know, the HDP is, is pretty soft, it's flexible, so it can tear. Um, it's not real likely, but it can tear, so you got to be careful when you're doing some things. But what you need for this is going to be your rivet gun, the rivets, and he gives you rivets in his kit, backing plates for the rivets, you're going to need your rubber brow, your V-brow, if you want to call it that. You might need these again to do some rough trimming. And a pair of standard house scissors. And your drill, where'd my drill go? With a 964th inch drill bit, which is the same so the rivets will fit. So what I do, oh, I'm sorry. You need two large clamps and two small clamps. So what I do is I take my helmet and I put my V-brow on and make sure first it's the one end is cut straight. Again, I'm not painting this helmet, so if you're painting it, you might want to paint it, your traps, before. But I'm leaving this khaki color. Make sure that your V-brows are all the way in the corner where you want it. Before you get too carried away cutting it. And sometimes I'll trim it a little long, just so I know it's not too short. So I find where I want it, I trim it, and I fit it. And this time it worked out just exactly right. So you see I've got my brow goes from my holes that I drilled on both sides, hole to hole. If you want to put in your your uh, film lens now, um, you'll have to do this assembly a little different than I do. I put it in at the end. But basically I stick my face piece in my helmet, find where I want the brow, and you try to get the traps to line up even with the corner of the eye on both sides, so it's equal. I take my little clamp and I stick it in the eyeball, rotate it around, and before I clamp it too tight, I make sure it's the trap is equal with the eye on both sides. When it's where I want it, I clamp it down. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's equal all the way across, how I want it. If you want it a little lower, you put it a little lower. I'm going to take my big clamp. And I'm going to clamp the sides. Like so, and I can see if I need to do something different, which I do. I'm going to have to go with a little bit higher brow, which is fine by me. Kind of gives it the stormtrooper look, or the sand trooper look. Stick my clamp. I can stick it up right there at the tube. 
you can see, take the other one, same thing on the other side, right on the tube, so it looks like that. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit high of a high brow, like a sand dripper. I'm going to take my drill, and I'm going to drill a hole pretty close to the front of the ear. Uh, I'll give it in. I'll put it in about oh, a quarter inch or so. And I'll drill a hole. That's where I put the hole, if you can see it, right there. Put the hole on the other side. Let's go the other handed. Put a, a bolt in that hole. I like to use a rivet. And then uh, next thing is, is some people like to put a, a bolt down here at the bottom, like the originals had. I like to put my bolt or my next rivet where the tube and the cheek comes together, kind of in that little that little uh, curve right here. I like to put a rivet there because on my ears, I don't really know where that bottom screw is going to line up at. So I put a hole up here and it's really close to that edge, about an eighth of an inch in. And the reason I do it so close is. That, I want that ear to cover that hole up. If it's too far back, sometimes that ear won't cover it right. I don't know if you can see that. That's how close I have it to the edge. It's within an eighth of an inch. You see that? Then I'll go ahead and put a rivet in those and a backing plate. Again, if you want to put bolts in those, that's your choice. This is just how I do it. Sorry, I'm going to be in the way. So once you get that, you can remove your clamps. And your helmet's assembled. Again, I got a high brow, so this could be a sand trooper. It's solid. The reason I like putting that rivet there is it closes up this gap. Some people have trouble when they're doing their ears with that gap. So I like mine flat. Now I don't got a whole lot of space on this side. But, helmet's done. Minus the ears. 
and it's coming along real nice. So that's how I assemble the main part of the helmet. Um, if you want to use bolts, go for it. That's your choice. If you want to use glue, go for it. That's your choice. But rivets quick and easy. And you're going to end up putting your two more bolts in your ears, which is going to help strengthen up here. And you're also going to put one down below. Oops. And my ears are just rough trimmed. So you can see that should cover up that rivet. And it should fit very nice in there. So on the next video, I'll start trimming sanding the ear down so you can see how I do that. Again, thanks Andy for the shirt. I appreciate it. Uh, I love having t-shirts. I'm going to be sending him a couple uh, ranch shirts that he could uh, give to uh, some of you folks out there if he's running a contest or something. So anyway, that's how I put that together. I will be putting the ears together in the next video and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day.